Hey guys, before we get into this video, uh, something happened, and if you guys are part of the Discord, you already know, um, but the team members of Ascension reached out to me and gave me three alpha keys, which is actually insane. It makes me feel, I don't even know how to explain it, it's, it's an unreal feeling. But that being said, um, so we are going to be giving away three keys coming up, uh, just various times on various things. Right now, actually in the description, if you go to the Discord, there is a giveaway going on for Conquest of Azeroth as we speak, like right now. So just make sure you scroll down to the description, join in the Discord, uh, go to the giveaway section and join up. Uh, the giveaway ends on October 17th. It ends in three days. I started it earlier today, uh, today being Friday. And we're also going to be doing another one on YouTube. Uh, when we hit a thousand subs, which by the way, we're at 929, which is uh, madness. Absolutely. Like, I don't know you guys, oh man, this is crazy. We hit the watched hours. So I needed 4,000 watched hours to be able to apply as well as a thousand subs. So as soon as I hit this, we're chilling. So make sure you watch this whole video through it means a lot. Um, and then I can apply for the creator program, which I think they said that it takes about a month. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm going to be doing those keys. So make sure you're paying attention and looking out for those. Good luck to everyone that enters. Enjoy the video. Boop. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just finished doing a heroic main gate uh, for a quest. I did record it, but uh, it was... It was a shit show, to say the least. It took a little bit longer than I'd like to, but, you know, we got it done. Uh, someone ended up DCing, and then we weren't able to kick them, and then it was just a four-man, and that was the DPS that we were... that was kind of carrying us, so... It was rough. However, I did we did manage to finish it, hand the quest, got enough Marks of Ascension to be able to buy another pair of Hand of Fate, so we got three. Let's see if we can get that judgment. Overpower, okay. Not what we want. Come on, baby. Safe fall? No, not, not gonna take any of those. And last card, here we go. There's no blue. Damn it. Uh, Drain Life Tank, I still wanna kinda try. I know that it's not really that good for aggro, but could be fun for like trying to solo like dungeons or something. I don't know. I was hoping the five sealed cards. Did not get anything. Feels bad. So we're just gonna take all of my greens and we're going to uh, we're gonna exchange them. I've been stockpiling these, so. All right, so we're gonna do a couple uh, trade-ins for the common cards to rare, and then we got one uh, rare to epic. So let's see what we get. All right, 10 uncommon to one rare. Here we go, here we go. Ritual of Doom, nope. Hibernate, also nope. Last one, here we go, 10 rares into one epic here we go these are the big ones these are the real nice could be whoo here we go cold blood what the hell does cold blood do again is that a rogue thing i want to say that's a rogue thing that is a rogue thing uh when activated increase your critical strike chance of your next offensive rogue ability by 100 percent grants 20 expertise for 10 seconds after consuming cold blood two minutes cd so basically every two minute cds it gives your next ability 100% crit. Is it? Is that good? It's not bad, I guess. So we still have another quest for LBRS, Heroic. It is a long dungeon, but uh, there is a lot of good uh, a lot of good melee gear and stuff in there. So hopefully, most of our Life Forge stuff, I believe, comes from, from BOEs, right? Let me see. Let's see what we can get from this dungeon. LBRS, there it is. Also, this is an add-on. I got it from some, I think I got it from the Discord. Someone linked me to a Discord where they have updated ones or something. I'll see if I can try to find that link in the description. Uh, but basically it allows me to see the heroic version, heroic mythic and ascended versions. All right, so let's see. We're looking for spell power, stay of strength, realistically on every piece. This is not bad, I like this. Play to the Shaman King. Yeah, plate, strength, stam. In spell power, perfect. So that's pretty good. We could get that. All right, these are strength stam hit rating, which my hit rating is not capped yet, so I could possibly wield these. Yeah, those are would be way better than what I got going on here. Smolder Web's Eye, I'll take that. Just hit rating, right? Comes with some crit, poisons the target. It would definitely be better than my Orb of Deception. Uh, we could also get Mark of the Dragon Lord from uh, Overlord Worm Thalak. Uh, protective mana shield surrounds the caster absorbing 500 damage while the shield holds increase mana, mana regen by 22 every five seconds i think this is a tag trinket right maybe healer as well 
it's kind of fits perfectly for a paladin, right? Because I have mana problems as well as it gives me a 500 shield. Unless I'm reading that wrong. So 500 shield, that sounds pretty good. That might be actually, yeah. I could also get hard of the scale, uh, increase fire resistance, as well as does more thorns effect uh, to anyone who strikes me. And then also the heart of Wormthok, where I have a chance to bathe the melee target in flames. That sounds pretty cool too. Basically anything to replace Orb of Deception, right? We can get a couple upgrades from this Dire Mode, but at the end of the day, it is for the quest to be able to get those Marks of Ascension, to be able to roll our Judgments, which will just significantly increase the ease of this build and the potential of this build. So we're going to go ahead and queue up for that, and I'll see you when it's done. And it was pretty much instant queue. <laughs> Tank things, you know? I think people in here don't speak English? Hardu. I don't know what, I don't know what language that is. Tavar Inte? Is that like German or something? Either way, we got luck of the draw. Why is luck of the draw always random? That's the, that's the question I want to know. All right, we got we got some buffs. Let's get, let's get at it. So I'm still debating on whether or not this holy shield is worth. For single target, you can have it up pretty much the entire time, but in, from pack to pack, it's kind of hard to keep up. Either A, they just consume so many stacks, or B, Hammer the Righteous just isn't up enough, or C, there just isn't mobs to press the button. Like, it's going to run out in two seconds and I can't get to this mob. Oh, see, I just missed it. See, you know what I mean? So now I have to recast it. But for bosses, it might still be just be worth, right? Because you have a 100% uptime on bosses for the additional 30%. Plus the threat from the thorns, right? I don't know. I was looking at what other stuff you could replace it with. Maybe, like, you actually do take Thunderclap with Crackling Thunder, right? That could still be pretty, pretty good. We got Shockwave now, so we just stun them all. I'm going to put up both my CDs. Woo-wee! Look at the damage, baby. Like, it, it feels really good to play, and I don't really even have that much gear. Uh, the last dungeon, uh, the one guy was ripping off of me before we DC'd, or before he DC'd. So I was, like, really trying to figure out what else I could do to improve my threat. I could get REs that would increase my Sunder Armor, right? Uh, I think it's, like, 4% per... So 12% overall, which would be really nice for the single target. But so far, like in AOE, I don't really get ripped off that much. I'm also talented into Spiritual Atonement when you can just, you could enchant into it. So I, I could have another two free talent points there. With AOE, you still get some resets. I don't, I just don't know if some resets is worth a purple enchant, you know? If anyone has any ideas, let me know. Oh, I reset it at one. Oh my goodness. And I love putting up Holy Shield and then putting up a shield block because that increases the value of the block. Now I'm blocking anything that does 600 damage. When without it, I'm 484 with Redoubt proct. Redoubt keeps proccing it. That's the first one I put on is Redoubt times three because it just procs so much with that. I do still have Shockwave, so I do have to remember to press that on CD. Gotta skull this and make sure that people kill this. Uh, we are susceptible to magic damage. So we wanna make sure we're prioritizing the Spellbinders and the Warlocks, right? These Legionnaires are not gonna do anything for me. Napsu, I think that means he's sleeping, right? If anyone knows this language, please, please inform me. I, I feel like I sound like really ignorant right now. I don't, I don't know what they're asking. The guy said here. What does he need? There's nothing over there. Oh, he wants this. Is there? A, is the spike over there? So this is a fun pull. Make sure we're keeping up this. Shockwave. Big shockwave. Holy Wrath whenever you lose a lot of aggro. Throw in a couple Thunderclaps. Right now we don't have Judgment, so I'm just filling that slot with Thunderclap, you know? All right, so this part I'm a little worried about because this guy does hella magic damage. I think we're in combat. I think the DPS is just the same. This dungeon always have a, has a problem with the combat bug. This guy doesn't have life tap. All right, rare time, boss time. I feel like everyone in here doesn't know how to speak like properly. I don't know what's happening right now. Every word that people keep typing is like, so far off it's not even funny also what i figured on this build you definitely want to taunt on cd especially if you have hand of reckoning because it does do holy damage see on boss like i have holy shield up all the time perma uptime on bosses it's just the aoe mobs that i can't keep 100 uptime that or if you miss yeah see i missed there that just comes with better gear you get better hit rating the uh hammer of wrath actually kind of chunks too Let's see if i can get a crit 896 it's not terrible non crit with how much this build can actually, you know, go up. A Riven Spike. What's this? One-handed axe. Agi. Nope. I'm good. 
I can also reduce the cooldown of Hammer of the Righteous so that it's up faster. Like, do hasty, I think it's called. So I can reset Holy Shield. But I just don't know how much I want to invest into it. Popping bubble. My health is dipping. Uh, we are solo right now. Like, we don't have my healer that I usually play with. So this is kind of a true test of how well the damage reduction is. I am a block build. So any magic damage is just going straight to my dome. It's pretty much the only thing the healer has to heal. I just like the way this build feels. I like the way it looks. Obviously, I look like a badass with my gear, my T-Mog. Uh, a lot of people are asking me about the wings. Yeah, so you can, I just buy DP with gold. If you just ask in trade chat, I think it's like 15, 16 gold per DP. And then DP is used on the website to buy various amount of things. So if you guys like the wings, they're roughly, I think they're, I paid like 500. Like high, oh, this guy's chunking me. Oh, like high 400s, like 480, 490, something like that. Healer, please. He's hitting me with arcane bolts. The healer's completely full man. I don't know. Did he get shepped or something? Feels bad. Things like this in like classic dungeons, they happen all the f all the time. My phone charger is making my computer fuck. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, why does it face me backwards? I almost walked outside the dungeon. <laughs> you guys ever get that where it just like faces you the wrong way? Yeah, with how many blues I took. <sighs> man, it's gonna be hard to roll judgment. I still have faith though. I think on average, you're supposed to have like four blues, four or five blues. I think two legendaries is pretty solid. Hey, at least we have sprint to get back and it's over. feels bad. You gotta always remember to put on Righteous Fury every time you die. Also being an orc for this build is really nice because uh, Blood, Fury, Blood Fury also gives you spell power, right? So it's attack power and spell power, which is sick. All right, cool. That guy died. So these guys are going to do like no damage to me. Not like no damage. We're going to pop some defensives on this. Pop the bubble to start it off. Let's help the healer, you know. Hopefully he's not having phone charger issues. Basically, you want to just you just want to press all your buttons. Like it's it's just that easy. Is that German? What language is this? I don't know. Ooh la la. <laughs> what is this? The two-handed mace uh, axe? Yeah, I don't need that. And then the boss becomes easy as soon as it's just the big guy. I think like two-handed parry tanks are the best for single target because they have like the stagger mechanic, which is really nice. Basically means any boss hit is like a fraction of the damage. So if you're someone that really likes raiding, that might be an option for you. Maybe I'll do a two-handed parry tank build. I've done so many two-handed parry tanks, I just haven't done a video for them. They're really good for magic damage as well. With that being said, I think they're less effective towards um, melee physical damage because you can only get parry to a certain high amount, you know? It's like kind of like bear, essentially, except you're not in bear form. And you have a two-handed sword. Yeah, see, my block chance is 80, and it, my block reflects anything that's over 473 damage. Or anything under 473 damage, sorry. So absorb, see, 263, that hit would have been 600. Easy! Ooh! Attack power stamp. I don't know if it's worth, though. I lose armor, and I gain attack power, which I don't really care about. I do gain 60 HP though, at the cost of 10 agility, 11 and defensive rate. I don't think it's close. I don't think it's enough though, you know? All right, I know most people go to the left there, but we're gonna go over this way because I just think it's easier. Uh, just to pull the room. Not necessarily that like these packs are easy, but when you LOS that one, like when you go down this ramp and you LOS that one thing, it always goes south for me. I don't know why. Yeah, when I get judgment, this is actually gonna be insane though. I'm so excited. We are gonna do all the bosses um, just because I don't know, I've always been that type of guy that just does all the bosses. I hate those tanks that come in and be like, they're the ones that decide what bosses you get, essentially. And then you potentially lose that on the mob that you actually need, you know what I mean? I'm shepped. Or hexed. Ah! Help me. I, dude, I'm hexed for so long. See, it's really nice that when my mana is really low, that I can rely solely just on Hammer the Righteous to get... It's only 81 mana, but it procs the Holy Nova, right? It just generates so much aggro at a fraction of the mana cost. Like obviously this generates a ton of aggro, but at 272. All right, we're gonna pop shield wall there. Not shield wall, I keep calling it shield wall. Shield block, sorry. <laughs> but it is also nice to be able to rely on Holy Nova if someone is like absolutely pumping. See, when you go this way, we don't have to pull all this too. I just feel like it's a better pacing this way. You got one pack, then another, and then another, you know? Instead of potentially this whole room pulling and then it's a wipe and then shept and then this and that and this and that. You know what I mean? It does suck when you don't get a consecrated strikes proc. Oh, I'm shept. Good luck, everyone. Or good luck me because I'm... Oh my god, I'm going to die. Help. Classic wow, baby. Where so many things just rely on healer being good. 
Let me know if you guys want to see a healer build. I'm not really one for theory crafting healing builds or... But if you guys really want to see it, I'll definitely make a healing build. Oh, I probably should have reset my meters. That's okay. I, I, I was the chosen one. You were the chosen one. Taunt on CD. Hammer the Righteous on CD. Sunder to fill it. Sunder and Thunderclap to fill it. That's... Can't get better than that, boys and girls. Oh, unless you miss. Well, then you're just trash. Ooh! My Hammer of the Righteous hit for a thousand? I'm sorry, what? That's actually crazy. So I'm really trying to figure out like a video posting schedule. Um, I think, like obviously my last video, I posted after like four days from the previous one, but that's because of Thanksgiving and I was kind of, I had a headache one day. And then the footage also took like three days to actually do because I had to proceed twice, whatever, whatever. Um, but I am trying to do like every three days, like two to three days. Really depending on the type of videos that I do. Uh, hit rating crit. Nope. But sometimes they do take a while to edit. Uh, like I think the bear video took about 12 hours, 12, 13 hours to edit. I don't know how, but someone pulled the entire dungeon. <laughs> I need a hero. Running a hero to the end of the night. He's gotta be strong and he's... That's gonna be a theme song for the series, chat. That's... And I, if I refer to you guys as Chaz because I streamed for like two years and I just started getting into YouTube, I might start streaming again. Let me know if you guys want to see that kind of stuff. Just playing Project Ascension, maybe some PvP, maybe some PvE, prestiging, you know, kind of the content that I'm usually doing, but just a live stream. So you can guys can come and ask me uh, questions live. Let me know if you guys want to see that. Uh, I've never streamed on YouTube, but I would probably stream on YouTube since of all the love you guys been giving me. All right, at least we're not in combat anymore. You gotta think of the positive thing. Um, I usually follow the mentality as a tank to just pull everything. Oh, I got one stack left. Oh my goodness, that felt so good. And they're almost all consumed. Sorry, I, I follow the mentality as a tank to just pull. Like I wanna get here. Obviously I could walk over this way, try to kite this, pull this, and then like hug the wall over there. But someone's gonna pull this pack. Someone's gonna pull this pack. I just run in a line and I'm like, okay, we're just, we're pulling everything here because I just don't have faith in people, you know? <laughs> someone always pulls. Uh, someone was commenting on my video, the fact that people hide their, their builds. And I guess that's the reason probably why my videos are doing so well. Is, but I never understood why people want to hide this information. Like why wouldn't people want to share their builds? Like what do you gain out of it? Okay, you can do a plus 10 because you're hiding your build. Like who cares? It's a community, you know? Like, yeah, I think people should share their builds more often. Oh, I'm tiny. Look at me, I'm so small. <laughs> Why is it when I'm small, I feel like I'm so fast? Wait. <laughs> any any person that's gonna hit you with melee, this build's gonna be really good for. The magic damage. That's the stuff that kind of spooks you, you know? I know with Bulwark, I got like 160 something percent chance to block, which is actually madness. Male, stamp, int, spell power. Hmm. Nah. And I know it can be a little intimidating to play a tank. Um, if you, especially if you don't know what you're doing, but I'm telling you, it, it's super fun. You guys can do tons of damage. You get instant cues, like the pros outweigh the cons in my eyes. Like, yeah, okay, it is kind of annoying to do. What? What? Hey, get over here. So we're just going to spam Holy Nova here. You can't always... Wait, did you see that? Dude, was that my taunt? I swear that was my taunt. My taunt crit. That was actually disgusting. This is why you taunt on CD. 377 is not something to be just joking about. I usually just choose the LOS stuff because it just makes everything easier to group up. So you don't have just casters sitting in the back. Especially when you pull big packs like this, LOSing is king. I really don't think evasion is that good. Like you can talent to and make it two minutes instead of three, which is nice. It also gives you like what, 6% HP, max HP, which is also not terrible. Just from a flat, like the fact that you can just get stunned and it's done makes me very sad. See if we can get an execute here. Ooh, 2k execute. Let's go. Damn, two back-to-back -back no consecrated strikes. I don't know what the actual chance is. Just the sound effects, too. Like, listen. It sounds so good. What we get here? Plate, strength, stam, hit rating. Yeah, we'll take those. Yeah, I think that was one of the pieces that we actually looked at. Oh, we're rolling against someone else. Let's see if we win. Ooh, someone in here is from Japan. How much of this is actually... A damage shield. Yeah, see, damage shield's actually really good. These mobs are kind of annoying. Oh, see? <laughs> see what I mean? Luckily, I can rip them back pretty easily. Anyone else here hate spiders? Because I'm not a huge fan. I remember driving my car, 
and it, one came out of like the vent on my dashboard and it was crawling around my dashboard and I almost like died. It was terrifying. I'm oom um, so bad right now. Luckily my stuff does not cost that much mana. A venom spitter. One in mace, attack bar. Nah, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you though. And just as a small tip for any new tanks, try to space out your your defensive cooldowns. Like don't just pop them all in the same like macro. Yeah, I'm so excited for TBC. Like I know I've said that 14 million times now, but every time I do these types of dungeons where they just take so long, it makes me a little antsy to start playing some TBC dungeons. It's gonna make it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a good time. Okay, so these mobs are oh oh oh, oh never mind, they're coming back. These mobs are usually like spaced out. And they were all just like in that corner there. What the heck? Still heals for like 213. Even with like reduced healing. It, that's pretty solid for just like extra heals. A phase blade. Attack power, haste, stamina. Hmm. No, it's actually less stamina than this dagger. That's crazy. Actually, I think I might keep a thunderclap. Like as a common thing. And then swap out the holy retinova for the judgment. This feels so good. Oh my goodness. I really highly recommend you guys try this. This is definitely the best paladin build I've ever made. And I don't even have judgment yet. So potentially could swap out the holy shield thing for crackling thunder. I still don't, it's still so nice to have though. And it's like something to like keep my eyes on and to like maintain, you know? So instead of just me like spamming my buttons like mindlessly. A neck with seven stam on it. Uh, he deflected me, that's awkward. Uh, he, he, he defected me again. That's double awkward. Wait, do I need spell hit as well as regular hit? I'm, am I going to die? I'm totally going to die. And I don't have my CDs up. Oh! Nice. <gasps> what happened to the healer? Stop! I don't want to be a ragdoll. This pool can be a little tricky. The trick is to LOS when he goes over there, pull these back when he's over there, and then vice versa, when he comes back this way, you just pull the other side of the room. Like when he's over here, you can pull this pack without, because if you pull them all together, he, he's just going to repeatedly stun you and it's not going to be a good time. You taunt these guys, LOS, and it doesn't pull him for whatever reason. He's the most blind guy ever. And then with this boss, you definitely just don't want to stack. That's, that's the play. Don't stack. A lot of the bosses just don't stack because they do like AOE stuff. Uh, this guy throws stun grenades, so just stuns everyone in an area. I can't get threat of this guy. I'm, like, missing all my hits, man. All right, we got aggro now. There's no chance of him ripping. It's because he started the pull with him being on it, and then he just popped off, popped every single cooldown. As a DPS, you definitely have to learn to just chill for, like, the first two seconds, and then you're good for the rest of the fight. Like, I'm the, I'm the type of tank that, like, if I f*** up, take the blame, right? If I lose aggro of something that I definitely should have had aggro of, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you that I messed up. But if you do something like that, where you're going in ahead of me, right, popping all your cooldowns before I can generate that, you know, first 200% of aggro, then I, like, unfortunately, that's just on you. Just something to keep in mind. You gotta have respect for the people that you're grouping up with. I know what the DPS wants, so I'm, I'll pull in bigger, big, as big as pulls as I'm able to pull. You know, the DPS can pump as much as they want to pump. Pulling to my full extent of being able to tank that certain amount but just because i pull 10 mobs doesn't mean you can pull another 10 mobs like i'm already pulling my max amount is what i'm trying to say right shockwave we're, we're staying alive baby we're staying alive all right we're sprinting back to the healer <laughs> i mean we stayed alive there for a pretty decent amount by ourselves that was pretty good i think they nerfed this pack actually i think there used to be more mobs no shockwave is actually so nice i just checked the views on my video that i just released like a couple hours ago and it already has 300 views that's crazy you guys are insane. I think the worst part is running back. <laughs> Especially in these long dungeons, it's just like, ugh. And I know they spawn you at the beginning. I don't know if this was real classic. I don't understand how any play, anybody plays original classic. It's so much of a grind. Ooh, 15 stam. 27 armor, 33 attack bar, I lose defense rating. I think I'm going to keep what I got going on here. This pool can be annoying too, so I usually just LOS behind this wall. People are very greedy in this game, and you'll you'll realize that very quick, that their gear is more important than your gear. And don't even get me talking about the whole off-spec thing. People think that they can roll for things that they're not, but whatever. All right, so we're going to LOS here. Yeah, see, the RE feels like shit when you can't get resets. But when you get, like, four or five free resets on your Holy Shield, it feels so nice. Sprint's really nice to get ahead so that you can start the pull with a lot of aggro. So when they come in, 
they have way less DPS than I do. So it takes them a little bit longer to generate their threat, you know what I mean? I think Divine Protection is definitely the best legendary you can get. Uh, maybe Dispersion. We are headed to the last boss though, finally. We've been in this dungeon for quite a bit of time. <laughs> See, that's how you know it's a good DPS. He's over here, doesn't care about the AoE DPS. He just cares about killing the priority target. That, that, makes, that makes me happy. Good job, sir. You get brownie points. We want the Mana Ring that gives us an Absorb Shield. As well as either trinkets. Like, this boss actually drops so many, like, good things that we could potentially use. Ooh, four stam. We're actually gonna need on that. I'm gonna try to save a defensive cooldown for when the ads come. Stop hitting me. This is abuse. I'm getting ragdolled. If anybody knows of a spot that I can go that I just don't get ragdolled, that'd be great. Okay, well, we didn't get any of the gear that we needed. What's this? Uh, yeah. Only one stamina loss for 30 HP. As well as some crit and 100 armor. I'm gonna 100% need on those. Alright, so that's the end of the run. Uh, fairly smooth. Um, DPS was not that good, uh, but it was a heroic, so that's kind of what I expect. Uh, most people are just gearing up. We got these gloves, which is actually really good. That's pretty much it, though. I, uh, needed on a couple pieces of gear. I only got one pair of gloves, but, you know, it's 61 eye level. We're almost able to do Mythics. Mythics is 63. One piece of loot, though. Not bad. I mean, we did the run for the quest. Let's go hand in the quest and see if we have enough to, uh, grab another Hand of Fate. Oh, we can buy a couple. All right, so we had enough Marks of Ascension to get nine cards. Let's see if we can get that judgment. Oh, there's a blue. That's it. This is the one right here. Crusader Strike. Hmm. Now we don't have room in the rotation for Crusader Strike. Judgment, let's go! Let's go! Yes! Okay, we got the judgment. Uh, we'll lose Picklock. Rip, but that's okay. Let's see what else we can get. Intimidating Shout, another purple. So a one minute fear. I'm not gonna take that. We're gonna take the Arcane Explosion. Uh, no, we're not actually gonna take the Arcane Explosion. See what else we can pull out here. 5% attack power. It's not terrible. That actually might be pretty solid. We are now getting some blues. Ooh, but the levitate. After I just did that dungeon, I kind of want the levitate. <laughs> but 5% will be better. I think we're going to do the aspect of the beast. Yeah. Uh, not for any of those, though. So never mind. Another Crusader Strike. None of those. Not really much actually need now. I think we're build is done. That's actually so cool that we actually are finished. Frost Trap. We are going to take Slow Fall, potentially, maybe? For Moonfire. Sounds good to me. You just take less damage from falling. It's just a nice little thing you can have. Oh? Uh? Wait, do we take the Interrupt now? Because we rolled everything else. Wait, we're actually going to have an Interrupt. An ranged Interrupt. Wait, no way. Uh, we. I would normally take Death Witch if I was any other tank. But because we're a spell damage tank... This does nothing for us. It also makes us take increased damage, but I know a lot of people are going to be jealous that they see Death Witch. Uh, but yeah, let's go the interrupt. Wind shear. Please don't make me lose anything important. Hmm. Not worth any of those. So, feels bad. Hand of Sack. Wow, now I'm getting so many purples. What's going on? So we can place Sack on the group if they're taking damage, so we can take the damage. But that also means that they can kill us, which I don't really want to do that. <laughs> Alright, those are all the cards. Damn, I can't believe I actually got a judgment. Now I got a retalent. Alright, let's see what we can get. What is this? We got two purples. Heroic, Fury, and Bash. So Bash is not that good. Uh, Heroic, Fury though, what is that again? Uh, removes any immobilization effects and refreshes the cooldown of your intercept ability. The ability is usable while shapeshifted. Wait, this actually is basically Blessing of Freedom for Bear. <laughs> Wait, I didn't even know this existed. That's sick. That's not bad. Whoa, this guy looks so cool. I want the sights. Tenkan common to a rare. Whoop. Chaos Bolt. Should we make a Chaos Bolt build? I think I'm going to make a Chaos Bolt build, actually. That sounds super sick. Uh, and then the next time, we're going to be testing out some Judgment now. We got a fan, boys. Wait, this is my first interaction with someone that's seen me, seen my videos. That's hilarious. Hopefully he doesn't talk shit. <laughs> Hopefully he likes the videos. He just said, just watch your video on making Consecrated Strike tank build. Hell yeah, dude. Liked, subbed. Let's go. Let's go. That's actually hilarious. Oh my goodness. One of the better Ascension YouTubers? Really? Aw. Damn, this guy's so nice. What the heck? This guy's gassing me up. Shout out to Smoked. Hell yeah, dude. Yo, thanks for the, the like and the sub. If you guys are ever looking for like a single target dummy though, Booty Bay is the way to play. Because uh, these dummies are pretty spread out more than the other ones. And they actually have a rating one. Heroic training dummy. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hope you guys liked it. 
I uh, hope you guys are enjoying the series. We finally rolled our judgment, and uh, we're, we're going to do another dungeon after this. And hopefully, uh, hopefully judgment pops off. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.